All right, well, you know, nobody should have a level four wolf wandering around in their neck of the woods, so. Huzzah, look at that. Okay, we broke even. We broke even, but we also got revenge, so. We're, we're as far ahead as we were before we started, but we feel better about ourselves. Anybody that tells you revenge isn't worth it is full of shit. Well, welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we just caught ourselves a salmon. Uh, so let's fillet that sucker up and uh, go cook some breakfast here. Um, and uh, so I have uh, actually changed my mind um, about what's going to happen next here. Uh, let's put all this stuff back in here for now. Um, I completely forgot, even though it was right in front of my face, sometimes that just happens, that we can make the shotgun and the rifle on our own inventory, that we don't need the workbench. I was thinking we needed the workbench for even those, but uh, we can actually make them here. And so um, uh, we're not going to make the workbench right away. I think our higher, uh, our next highest priority is to make the refinery so that we can then start making iron fragments so that we can stand, uh, then start making lock picks uh, because the lock picks are then going to get us the lock crates, which is going to get us the better loot, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I mean, we're going to need all of this pretty much at some point, but <clears throat> uh, for now, uh, I really want to be able to continue making lockpicks for us because that's really going to help us quite a bit. Uh, so that means we need to work towards this guy here. So uh, let's see, we need 12 scrap, 10 planks, and 12 electronics. So we should have no problem getting all of that stuff. Um, but you know what? Before we do even that, let's get the shotgun made. Um, so... Uh, I want to get that made now, so we have it with us. I would, I, we're going to make the rifle, of course, too, but the rifle requires iron scraps, and I don't have enough of those uh, yet. So we'll start with the shotgun. Um, all right, so let's see. We need to make five more planks, so let's do that. And then while um, we're waiting on that, well, here, let's make sure that our fish doesn't burn here. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Uh, all right, we're going to hang on to the fish. We're going to eat the chicken now. We're in pretty good shape overall on, on food. And uh, let's just put those in there. I'm going to go ahead and eat this onion. We don't get a lot of carbs for it, but we get some. And that will just, you know, kind of keep keep on top of things there. Okay, so uh, while we're waiting for the boards, let's go ahead and get another batch of wood from the trees here on the island. Got ourselves a building crate here. Very nice. Look at that. Nine nails. We're actually doing quite good on nails, but we'll be we'll be using them, that's for sure. More building to come. Lots more building to come. I'm just not going to expand really quickly in the very early game. Uh, because the larger our ba base is, the more we have to defend and repair and all that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, we should have enough now to make the shoddy. Look at that. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a shotgun, or we are about to have ourselves a shotgun. That is great. And then, um, what, uh, what else did we need for this now? Oh, we needed more planks. Okay. So I've got all of the wood out of there. I made another chest too, as you can see. And, oh, and I do have some planks in there. Beautiful. Okay, so we just need five more planks. Let's get those going. And the shotgun is here. Let's load it up. We got four rounds so far. And, uh, you know, that's definitely enough to to save us, you know, from a wolf attack. And even a bear attack, we could take, you know, we should be able to take down just about any bear with two point-blank shots. Uh, but, of course, you know, we're going to be somewhat conservative until we can get more ammunition than we currently have because we don't have a ton, so... All right, so once that's done, we're going to obviously set this to make iron for us. And I'll, I'll eventually be putting more than one of these down, too. But for now, we'll go with this. And we... Uh, the, oh, you know, the other thing we need to do is get a generator going, too. Um, I think... Yeah, we'll have to see. I can't remember how much power this uses... Uh, so once we get it, you know, we'll set it down and then 
and see what what the deal is with that um, this probably can keep it uh, I don't this probably cannot keep it running in fact no it can't keep it running perpetually uh, because this doesn't generate any additional power other than just what it needs to fill its own gauge uh, maybe we should actually make this first now that I think about it uh, well no let's make this first and just see if it's something we can we can run um, just while we're here off the power that this builds up uh, we definitely will make a generator in fact we're probably gonna make more than one generator oh shit that's not what I wanted to make I want to make a refine a mining drill Oh, you know what, though, too? We can't make a mining drill until we get the workbench because we need the workbench to make the circuit boards. Right. Okay, okay. Well, that wasn't a waste. I mean, we need this, too, to process the ore. So any, you know, uh, I got to think about this for a second. Refinery, mining drill. No. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm not thinking straight here. The mining drill will mine for us, but this is what this is what we want to make the scraps. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and set this guy down. Um, I guess we can just put it right under the BCU for now. Every you know everything here is temporary. We'll we will be rearranging stuff as the as the base expands, uh, but for now we'll just put it right underneath there. All right, cool. So. Um, doesn't use any power at all per second. It's probably oh, it's probably because there's nothing in there, right? Okay, and we'll do the upgrades later on too. That's that's not something I can afford to do right now, of course. Um. Okay. Good. So uh, we made the shotgun. We made the uh, the refinery, and now we want to make ourselves a pick and start grabbing ore as we come across it, so that we can refine it. So for the pick, we need four more boards. So let's make four more of those. And then we should be in good shape. Let's uh, also top off our wood-burning stove here. And then uh, the rest of the stuff we should be able to just put away for now. I'm going to take another drink. And then uh, refill this up just so we're topped off on our water. And then we'll be in pretty good shape. Okay, so we're waiting for one more board. Uh, we still need these two. And we should probably repair this bow. What's that require? Sticks and cordage. Uh, just one stick? Nope, two sticks. Uh, so go here and make another stick. Okay, we should be able to make the pick now. Let's do that. And from now on, when we come across ore, and iron ore in particular, we will start grabbing it. Okay, let's get this repaired. Fantastic. Okay, we can put all this stuff back away. We got 12 arrows, which is pretty good. We got one extra round for the pistol in addition to what we already have. We'll put this pick in the fifth slot because that's where I'm used. To, my fingers are used to having it. And I think we are good to go. I think we're good to set out and um, <clears throat> go do some looting. We're just a smidge safer now with the shotgun, which is always a good thing. And, uh, yeah, let's go find some, some ore and, and all the other stuff that we still have to find. Um, hunters, we did see some hunters of across, uh, rogue hunters, I should say, across the water there. So I guess the rogue hunters come in immediately. Um, cause that's, you know, that's what it seemed to me anyways. Uh, but we shouldn't, I don't think we need to worry about the main hunters. The Alpha Bravo Charlie Hunters uh, until probably tonight or tomorrow. We'll see what happens, though. I'm hoping that, you know, they'll all build their base on that side of the lake. Um, because that means we pretty much have the whole map on, you know, to, to roam without having to worry about them. Now, we still have to worry about rogues, but, you know, at least we don't have to worry about the big bases. I, I don't know if that's going to happen, though. We'll, you know, we'll see. Whatever does happen, we'll deal with it when the time comes. So right now we are after crates and we're after iron. Uh, well, we'll take any ore, of course. We need all of it, but the iron is the highest priority because that's what we're going to need to make more lockpicks. And we will gather all the usual suspects, too. 
Let's see if there's anything up here. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's work our way. Okay, there is some ore down there, but there's a bear kind of nearby. Um, there's a bunny running over towards the bear and a wolf and a crate down that way. All right, this is copper. We should be able to grab this as long as that bear doesn't walk over this way. Not bad. Okay, and we have a building crate and a wolf down here. What level is that wolf? Let's just see if we can sneak a doodle up here and grab it. It's a level two wolf. Okay. Oh shit, he's coming. All right, time to run. Oh, we need that ammo crate. We'll get it on the way back. I'm trying to <laughs> try to loot that stuff, but it's not working. Yeah, let's try and outrun this guy, and then we'll circle back around. If he does manage to catch us, we'll turn around and blast him. But I want to save my shotgun shells for emergencies. This is only a semi-emergency. This isn't a main emergency. It's only a semi-emergency. Most of the time, when you you know you get aggro, oh, well, he didn't follow us for very long at all. Um, as long as you have the stamina and whatnot, you can usually outrun these guys. I wished he would have chased us a little bit longer so he wasn't so close to the shore now. Yeah. I mean, if he comes after us, we'll probably take him out. I don't know. We'll see. That ammo crate could have more shotgun shells in it or pistol rounds. Shotgun shells are preferable, but we'll take both. We're not picky. Okay, he's staying put. All right. Not precisely what we wanted, but we'll take it. It's useful. Uh, let's get this rabbit, but I also want to go back and get that building crate, too. All right. And we still have to be mindful that there's a bear around here. Okay, let's go back up this way and see if that building crate's still there. I think it was like right up here, if I recall. Hmm. We saw it from up here. I looked down and I said, oh, there's a building crate. I thought it was like right there. Did, did we already pick it up? Maybe we, oh, I bet you we already picked it up. I can't remember. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. Short-term memory goes out the window. All right, here's some ore. This is probably potassium. No, I think it's iron. It can be kind of hard to tell the two apart sometimes. Yeah, that was iron. Okay. Wait, was it? Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so let's... There's another bunny. The reason I keep pulling my pistol out when I mean to pull my bow out is because, I've, as I've mentioned to you guys, I play a lot of Icarus, and I have my bow on the number two key on Icarus, so that's why I keep doing that. You don't ever want to shoot a rabbit or a chicken with, a, with the pistol because it'll actually... Uh, destroy the carcass. Okay. So we've got a couple of rabbits now. Um, hopefully those salmon fillets will still be okay when we get back to the base and we'll eat those for dinner and then we can have the rabbits for breakfast. And some more ore. Look at this. And this is iron. Whoa. Stop it. I think with the fragments that we found in the lock crate, 
yesterday and what I just got. We should have enough to make a new lockpick. All right, this guy is going to be a bit of a problem. Unless he turns and goes the other way. Okay, let's grab these two fibers. And it is about noonish, so we got lots of daylight left, but I don't know, I'm starting to think we should go back to the base. Uh, and eat our fish fillets, because I don't want to lose those. That's some really good food. There's a crate here and a level 4 wolf. That means that damn wolf killed us at one point in time. We could get even with him, but I don't know if I want to waste a shotgun shell. There is an ammo crate over there, though, that could have a shotgun shell in it. Is he coming this way? Look at you, man. All right, well, you know, nobody should have a level four wolf wandering around in their neck of the woods, so. There, we have received, uh, well, no, actually, we have met out our revenge. Received our revenge sounds like I'm the one that's getting it. Oh, look at that, four things of fat. That's great, we can turn that into oil. Let's wash our hands. And now we can get to this ammo crate. Hopefully it's got a shotgun shell in it. Or more. Huzzah! Look at that. Okay, we broke even. We broke even, but we also got revenge. So we're we're as far ahead as we were before we started, but we feel better about ourselves. Anybody that tells you revenge isn't worth it is full of shit. <laughs> oh my goodness! Can't take me anywhere. I know. All right. Uh, we got a chicken here. Let's grab this uh, copper, too. All right, yeah, let's head back, um, if for no other reason, so we can eat those fish fillets for lunch, because I don't want to lose them. That would be sad. Uh, and, oh, I didn't even see that until just now. We're going to eat this right away, because we need carb action. And... Thought, wasn't there a chicken or something that ran down there? Or maybe they ran up the other way. I don't know. If we spot it, we'll see if we can get it. All right. Let's swim back to the base from here so we don't have to mess with that wolf. There's our salmon fillets. All right. Beautiful. Hey, we got a max health increase. I'll take it. Uh, okay, we'll put the fat in the fire and the red meat, and we will also uh, put the rabbits in there. Okay, we are doing phantasmagorical, you guys, on uh, um, on our food. Could be doing a little bit better on carbs, but that's okay. Carbs are generally easier to get than protein, so if I'm doing good on my protein, I'm not really too worried about the carbs. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, this in here. So that uses 0.5 power. Oh, yeah, we can easily run this without the generator. We just can't leave it on all the time. I mean, we could. It'll just run the power all the way out, which isn't really a problem until we get a refrigerator. Then it will become a problem at that point in time. Okay, very good. I like the progress of today. We're doing great. We are doing great. Okay, I think what we'll do is, I mean, we have enough time to go out again. So let's just wait for this meat to cook and then um, let's go ahead and take a drink now and refill that. And we need to top off our fire too. It's not a huge deal if it goes out because it's pretty easy to make a fire starter, but... Oh, look. Look what's right here. I'll take it. All right, we got some steak, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm not actually going to put wood on that. We'll we'll just let it let it do its thing. Um I'm going to keep this stuff here cuz it should last for uh, long enough for us to get back tonight. And let's add that to there and then when we get back, we'll have enough scraps between what's in there and what's in here to make ourselves 
a lock pick. We need 18 in total. Well, will we? Yeah, because we have... No, no, we have 7 in there. Wait a minute. 7 and 11 is 18. Yeah, we'll have enough... And we'll have one left over. Okay, let's go out again. I, there's a pearl down there. Um, we're going to get that. We're going to have to... That's about as deep as I want to go without scuba gear. Okay. We should be able to snag this too. And then we got to get up. There's another one even further down, but we could get it. We might take just a, a little bit of damage though, but oh, what the hell, let's do it. I need more carbs. Nah, we'll be okay. We got this. Just go straight up. Okay. So we'll use those two pieces of kelp to, uh, you know, bring our, our carbs up just a bit. It's not going to be enough, but it's better than nothing, right? I was hoping there'd be like one more piece over here, but I'm not seeing anything. We do have a wolf over there that we have to watch out for. Alright, let's just eat these now. And, I mean, we're not in terrible shape. Not in real good shape, but not in terrible shape. Alright, let's go. There's a bunch of fiber plants right here. Nice. There is a bear up there in a building crate. Let's see if we, if he keeps going, we might be able to, no, not if he comes back this way. Nah, not going to work. Unless we try and run him off. Here, let's actually go up this way and see what he does. Yeah, keep walking that way, dude. Don't turn around, just keep going. Don't turn around. Ow, ow. Because if you do, you're going to hurt me. Ow, ow. I know, that was terrible. Absolutely atrocious. Okay. Okay, we have some kind of ore up here. It's either iron or potassium. Uh, no, it's actually zinc. Nice. We'll take it. We need zinc to repair our guns, uh, or at least our higher level guns. I don't know about the basic ones. And I think we also use it to make one of the ammos too, if I recall. And there's an ore up on that rock. Any nasties around? Ooh, can we get to that? That just spawned in right in front of our face. There we go. Um, I don't know if I can get up here for the other one. It's just, we just, <laughs> we just barely can't climb up there. What if we get around to here? Uh, no, not working. Oh, what about here? There we go. Oh, what? It, it, yep, we got it. We got it. We got it. Whew. And it was worth it because it's iron. All right. All right, let's go up on top here for a second. Don't see any ore. And we do have a bear over that way. Um, this grub tree is probably reset. Yes, it is. Oh, no, it hasn't. Okay. I figured it would have by now. Guess we it wasn't too long ago when we were over here, though. And it looks like we might have some copper and some either iron or... 
potassium on top of this rock. The question is, how do we get up there? I'm not going to get up on that side. Uh, don't think so. Maybe, 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 maybe. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work, but it did. Look at us and our bad jumping selves. Actually, no, that was good jumping. Okay. Wow, I still can't believe we climbed up that. Goodness. All right, guys. Well, it is getting to be uh, too dark for... Uh, or almost too dark for me to see, which means you guys probably can't see anything right now. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and lumberjack my way back to the base. And... Um, uh, we should be able to make a lock pick when I get back, and then tomorrow, when we start the next episode, uh, we will go in search of another locked crate and more adventures here in Subsistence. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.